Yeah! Welcome back to another week and another roundup of all the news happening in Tokusatsu. I'm your host, Squall Charlson, and let's not waste any time with that news. Avex, publisher of Kamen Rider soundtracks and singles, as well as many popular anime soundtracks and products, places a ban on international sales of their goods. It is to be noted that in an update on this, CD Japan has clarified that Avex's product ban has only affected products under the Avex Pictures label. Other branches of Avex Group are not affected, such as those under Avex Tracks Artist, which include Kamen Rider soundtracks and singles. However, the Tokusatsu Network staff and other customers have attempted to make purchases of other Avex products outside of Avex's pictures through Amazon Japan, and Amazon appears to be blanket banning all Avex products. As of this update, Avex Group still has not made an official statement regarding the export ban. We're still not sure what the purpose is behind this sudden announcement, but we will bring you more as we know. The actress known for her roles in Kamen Rider Forze and HK Hentai Kamen is uh, devoting her life to religious teachings with happy science. She announced her decision to retire from the entertainment industry on February 11th. Shimizu has stated that she intends to become a member of the controversial religious organization and wishes to devote herself fully to their activities. Shimizu's officially recognized Twitter account has already been deleted, and she has already opened a new Twitter account. However, due to her sudden department from entertainment, it is currently unknown whether or not this film or others she's already filmed will in fact see a release. That's a real bummer, huh? Well, in other better news, uh, Mighty Magiswords has been renewed for a second season on the television network Cartoon Network. You may remember that the Tokusatsu Network previously had the privilege to feature Kyle Karza, the show's creator, as our first artist feature, and talk about the show's creation and Tokusatsu and anime influences in our podcast. And you can check out Mighty Magiswords only on Cartoon Network. Netflix has released Cyborg 009 Call of Justice based on Shotaro Ishinomori's manga sooner uh, than expected. Cyborg 009 Call of Justice, a three-part movie based on the manga, was released in November and December of 2016, with Netflix obtaining the distribution rights for the movie. Now Netflix has followed through on their plan to release it as a 12-episode season. Originally, Netflix was expected to debut the film in spring 2017, with the exact date being unclear. All 12 parts of the films are now available to watch on Netflix, with both dubbed and subbed versions. Coming out next month, uh, maybe. Hey Vex, I'm looking at you. The Blu-ray box of the anniversary series Kamen Rider Decade will release next month on March 8th. The Blu-ray box set will contain six discs with all 31 episodes, roundtable discussions for the preceding Kamen Rider series, junctions, preview PR collections, a 20-page booklet, and a special limited production sleeve. I'm all for these series coming to Blu-ray. We even have a Go Ranger one coming soon. I'm so excited about that. Subset Games, the makers of popular indie roguelike FTL, are back with Into the Breach. The group finally announced their follow-up Into the Breach, a strategy game about mech pilots trying to save the world from giant monsters that will be different every time you play it. The remnants of human civilization are threatened by gigantic creatures breeding beneath the earth. You must control powerful mechs from the future to hold off this alien threat. Each attempt to save the world presents a new randomly generated challenge in this turn-based strategy game. Into the Breach utilizes the same turn-based, isometric style fans of Chroma Squad and the Super Robot Wars series will recognize. No release date for Into the Breach has been announced just yet. Ooh, really gonna have to check that out. I love Chroma Squad, that was such a gift. Speaking of gifts, let's check out this week's must-own item. Premium Bandai has announced an item listing for an Ultraman Zero, Ultra New Generation, Emission Version figure. This listing includes the Ultraman Zero body, a light emission pedestal, and a support arm. And yes, it does come with the batteries. Ultraman Zero Ultra New Generation Emission Version figure is scheduled 
to release this May. And finally this week, Lucky meets the thieves Balan and Naga in episode 2 of Uchu Sentai Q Ranger, the Phantom Thief Group BN. Barnes and Noble? Sorry. Emu's game disease completely alters his personality in the upcoming episode 19 of Kamen Rider X Aid, Sudden Fantasy. Well, that wraps up another week here at the Tokusatsu Network. Be sure to check out these articles and more over on the website. With your likes and comments on these videos, we can make more and more, or even talk about specific topics as additional videos. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and we will see you next week. No, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just... I don't feel very well. They had, um, they had Valentine's Day candy on sale. Uh, they had like 60-50% off. Um, bought a few boxes. I think I ate a few boxes today as well. So, uh, just give me a minute. We'll do this.